Joining us now here on the MMA Report on Radio Influence, a man that's going to be making his first Titan lightweight tile defense coming up on August the 5th at the Bank United Center in Coral Gables, Florida. It's Jay-Z Cavalcante defending lightweight tile against Freddie Asuncao. Main event of the fight card, Jay-Z, as, as always, appreciate the time. Obviously, uh, you know, you won that title back at Titan FC 39 you know, when when you think about that night, what what is the 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 biggest memory you have of that night? Oh man, everything, you know, everything. Uh, I had some setbacks. Uh, was just the, like the relief at the end, it just being accomplished. Because uh, a week before the fight was a tough week for me. I was even in doubt if I was going to fight or not. On my last training, I got hurt. And two days later, I got sick, you know, so it was like a, I got like a cold and flu, and like a four days, or like three days before the wing, I was like, I was bad. But it's always a good side on the negative side, you know. Uh, my weight to drop pretty easy was a good weight cut, you know, I was ready. I know I, I knew my camp was good. All my coaches, you know, the Black Zillion has amazing coaches, amazing training partners. So I was ready. Just like the last couple of days before the fight was really tough for me. But my wife helping me out a lot. She was doing, she did it. If it wasn't for her, I think I, would, uh, I wouldn't fight. She was taking care of me, treating me well, doing all kinds of things and the... Uh, all kinds of stuff that we can't imagine it could get better. And like a God the host provides, you know, so I believe in that and then everything worked well. Like the the, the day with the way I was feeling good. The day before the day before like in the morning I was a little bit bad, but during the day, you know, at the end I stopped cutting my weight and I felt great. So on the fight day I was more than ready, you know, so it was good. It was good to see everything come together in a good situation, good position for me. So it was a relief. Did you see that fight going down that way uh, of getting the knockout in the first round? Or was it something as, as you were thinking about the fight leading into it that, you know, you, you thought the stoppage may come a, a little later? Uh, yeah, no. Look, I think if Pat never been knocked out as a lightweight, I know he had to. A- like, I think one of his stops on the welterweight on the beginning of his career when he was fighting as a welterweight. But as a lightweight, you know, I, I expect to be the grinding fight. That is a... He's a grinder. He, I, I said to you, to everybody, he's like a zombie, you know? You punch him, you hit him, and he keeps coming, keeps coming. You drag you push you to the cage and put you down and keep you keep on top of you like a blanket. So I wasn't expected that that fast, you know. But I knew I had the potential to do it. Uh, I I said this. I'm ready for five rounds. I'm ready to fight, you know. Uh, I did everything I had to do to be ready for five rounds of a grueling fight. But if the opportunity shows up show up for me I was going to grab it and the way I could. And I saw the opportunity right there. And I hit it. I landed. And I, you know, I even in the floor, I shouldn't go down. I took up all the pressure because I knew how tough it is. I was, I was just want to make sure the fighter was, was going to stop that. I didn't want to keep going, you know. And it uh, worked well for me. And, of course, uh, tile defense come up here on August the 5th against Freddie Asuncao. This is Freddie's first fight since coming up to coming off ACL injury, moving back up to 155 pounds. Uh, you know, when Titan you know calls you up and says, hey, we, we want to go with Freddie Asuncao, uh, were, were you familiar with Freddie uh, prior to getting this fight offer? Yeah, yeah, I'm afraid. Uh, we are not close friends, but we know each other, you know. Uh, I know his brother's. I trained with Rafael, Rafael also saw his brother, we trained more. I trained a little bit with Junior, but never, I never really trained with Freddie. But we have a good connection as, uh, you know, the fight world is a small world. We know everybody, they have a, 
one of the coaches, one of my best friends from Science Brazil, Jucão. And so we always like want to want to meet in the event, we talk, we cook. Uh, it was a little bit surprising for me when the Titan came and said Freddy was going to was willing to fight. Uh, and I was a little bit surprised because I think he had one fight on, uh, on Titan and it was a featherweight. So I wasn't expecting that at all. I never seen that fight coming. But, you know, I'm the champion. I have to defend. I have to do, I do what I do. Uh, I, we're good. I even we said we're going we're gonna to fight, take out the business. But the relationship we have is still the same. The respect is there for him, for his own for his brothers, you know, and for his team, for his teammates, the, all the coaches, the respect is there, just, just a fight. Do you feel that he fights very similar to his brothers, or is he o- his own type of fighter? He, I think he's, I'm not sure, but I think he's the youngest, and I think he's the most talented guy from there. Rafael is a it's amazing. He's a great fighter. He's so talented, but he has the toughness that makes him go, go. Same, all, all three, they have a similar style, you know. But Fred is a little bit, I think because he came later, all the brothers were already fighting. He did, developed well as well. And, yeah, they, 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 they're similar. The similar style. And I just feel like the technique on the Freddie has good technique. He's more conventional. That um, that was trying to say. No, every, everyone has a different. They have different styles, similarities, but different styles. Rafael is more aggressive, and uh, Juno also, and uh, he, he's a little bit more technical, but also has power and he's more once again, we're talking to Jay-Z Calvacante, who's going to be defending the Titan FC lightweight title coming up on August the 5th. Titan FC 40 going to be challenged by Freddie Asuncao in the main event of the fight card. Of course, uh, this event will be uh, streamed exclusively on UFCFightPass.com. You know, I, I was talking to, to Chidi and Jaquani recently, and one of the things, that it was when he was supposed to fight Douglas Lima, who obviously is close to the Asuncao camp as well, and he said, you know, I'm I'm cl- I have a good relationship with that f- uh, that family and that team, but ultimately you have to treat this sport as a business and, and not a sport. Is that kind of you know you talked about you know this being a small niche community? Is that when you when you get these fight offers where there is a relationship? Is at the end of the day, it's like look, this is a business and, and you have to treat it that way. No, it's not exactly just like a business. You know, uh, fight is my life. It's not just my business. I train it. I turned size four years old. I compete size I was like six, you know, on the diapers division. And I, I create a lot of good friends with fighting. And if they come to me and ask me if somebody's good, you know, it's a closer guy, uh, I, I think I wouldn't fight. You know, uh, if you train together, we have a connection, we have a good deal. It depends. It depends how both guys gonna work. No, uh, it depends on the relationship. We have guys that uh, I I think it was me and George Myers that once we were fighting strike force. We were in the same camp. We were close, you know, close friends. We were doing the the Miami hustle was a web series on the internet. We were together all the time. We were brothers, uh, you know, close friends and. Uh, we are talking about, man, we are both in strike force. What's going to happen? We are both contenders now. And, but we, because we are close, we have a good relationship, we we'll talk about it. We have the time to talk. We have the time to express ourselves, you know? And we said, bro, you know what? Let's fight. If, if it's for the title, you know? If it's a title fight. It's a big fight. We fight. We get together. We split up whatever we have to do, you know? Make make it good. They will. You gotta make money. Both have to make money, but not just gonna be on one side. We we'll help each other with that. So that was the idea when we spoke. You know, but Fred is different. I I don't really have a big connection. You know, like friendship, a long friendship, or some or something like that. But it, it is a business, 
but it's also my life. If I see it, it's something that can affect my relationship with him and affect my life somehow, uh, I would pass. You know, depends on, but like I said, it, it, it depends on the communication with both parts. Uh, fight is good, the business is good, make money is good, but has something that is stuff that's bigger than that. A final thing, Jay Z, and, and I really do uh, do appreciate the time. Is in terms of this fight, is, is one of the biggest challenges for you in this fight is the fact that you are facing a fighter who this is his first fight off knee injury, and in a way, you may not know what he's going to look like on fight night because it's been so long uh, since he's had a fight. Yeah, uh, we never know what to expect. I'm expecting the best. He has great coaches, has great family of fighters. Uh, they have a good camp. I, I'm expecting the best. That's that's always my goal. We never know what going to come to, from the other side. And that's one thing we don't have control. Uh, I have control for myself. I have control for my training. But I also don't have the control of all the situations that are going to happen in my life. Uh, that's not just for fighting, that's life in general. You see stuff like, a, you know, having Jordan Parson was a, a great warrior, great guy, great person who got hit by a car and passed away. Now we have another incident with uh, uh, Jimo. Life is crazy. We have stuff that we don't have control. We think we do, especially fighters. We, because we have we have power, we have we gotta have a good mind, good control. Sometimes we think we have control like, because we have control of the mind and the body, sometimes we think you control everything. But it's not control environment, you cannot control nature. So uh, the things I can control, I do my best. And I I'm a prepare for the best coming from the other side. Okay? And I go there. And I do my thing. And you'll be able to see Jay-Z defend the Titan FC lightweight title coming up on August 5th at the Bank United Center. Titan FC 40 as he, as he is challenged by Freddie Asunsa. Jay-Z, as always, appreciate time. Good luck in the fight, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate the time. Good. I hope you guys tune in on the UFC Fight Pass and whoever's around on, on Miami and Cora Gables. You stop by, come watch. For sure, going to be a great fight. That is a great, great op uh, opponent, and we're going to bring him inside the cage and going to make him fun and entertain.